hello friends welcome to my channel and in this video i am going to show you that how learning command line will make you pro in computers all right so this is just an another episode i usually you know this is the channel's theme by the way so uh today i have this uh, you know drive and this folder in this drive and these are some notes of some subject uh, so you can see these are the notes and these are pptx which means this is some powerpoint presentations and this is so bad so what i have to do is i have to download every single of of these pptx file into pdf and then uh, we have to like combine all these pdf files to make one pdf file because the thing is that we need to accumulate all the matter which is present for us to study the thing because you know we are going to give online exams so some students want to cheat so they can just quickly search from the pdf and one pdf will be better so they don't have to juggle into different different pdf files all right so so this is the goal and if you see manually there are a lot of pptx file which is so hard to achieve also google drive is so slow like it's not instant so i just hate this you can see this right now it's so slow so but if you invested one or two week into learning command line well what you can do is you can just basically download this directory so right now it's zipping it's google thing so let's just wait so as you can see the download is happening and uh, it's done so now we are done with our browser all i have to do is open terminal make a garbage directory go to garbage okay go to garbage directory and clear the screen and copy my download so uh, the download file is roe so roe and then just move it into my current directory so this is the zip file and i should just change the, the name so it's like or or forget it or it's uh, just unzip the file so unzip command to unzip it it was so simple ls you can see this is the directory which we got let's go into this directory roe and you can see we got all the things so let's just quickly go into unit one so th these are all the pptx file and you can see these are like um i can open this with libreoffice but i don't want to i have libreoffice installed it's a tool for open pdf not pdf pptx or you know office related stuff but the thing about libreoffice is it's also provide one cli tool which is s office so you can do a lot of basic stuff with s office so for example just write headless here and then convert to pdf and then just a file name so for example this and press enter so it's doing something now it's showing me some warning but i don't have to worry about this it's going to work fine so let's just wait and i i need to edit this portion so yeah you can see so it's done all right so the conversion uh, is done and you can see here so here you can see this is a new pdf file and let's just open jatura to you know open this pdf file so you can see this is such a nice pdf i can search so for example understanding so you can see i can search through it perfect so now what i can do is uh, i should probably delete this uh, pdf file which i made okay so right now i am in this directory so this is the same as this this drive here and what i can do is i can use find command so find dot for current directory type f which means the type should be a file and not a directory so just find files and not directory all right so again after this we have to provide i name i name basically means ignore the case and name basically means the file name okay many people don't know how to search files in linux well this is how you search files in linux all right and now let's just provide the file name so anything which ends with dot ppt all right so just do this and press enter so you can see we got four files here but we also want pptx file all right so this is just one extension we also want these files here all right so what i can do is just remove this and and put a trick here so and by the way this is known as wildcard in linux all right so it's for like everything so basically uh dot pp and then anything so if I clear the screen and press enter, so here I'm getting all the pptx file which is present in this directory. And now what I can do is I can use hyphen exec, which means run any command on this file. And I want to run s office hyphen hyphen headless and then convert to pdf and the file name. So this is the placeholder for find command. So basically whatever the file is, it's just going to put the file name here. And in the last, there is a convention of this exec command, which is you have to put this plus symbol here. All right. So just press enter and wait. So it's converting. You can see it's happening. 
and uh, now i have to talk some you know do some trash talking because it's happening or i have to pause the recording so here you can see it only totally took 20 seconds to finish the command now if i do ls so so here i got a lot of pdf files so basically all the pptx file which were present inside these directory are now in this directory so i can just uh, small the screen and show you so ls so these are all the pdf files which are generated from the pptx file which are present in these units directory and these are some other pdf files which i also need so now what i can do is i can use pdf unite tool which let me make my screen big quickly and then asterisk.pdf which means all the pdf and output.pdf so this is just going to merge all the pdfs for me and boom it's done now it's the Thura output PDF. So you can see it's, it's 653 pages. It's a really big PDF, but it's so fast. Like it only took me some amount of time. And you can see these are all the, you know, these are all the PPTX. And some of my friends also did this and they spent hours on this. All right. So just a basic command line thing, just a basic find command. And you can just do things so quickly and nicely. So thanks for watching this video. See on the screen, not very pretty, but we sure know how to run things. Living in ruins, over palace within my dreams. And you know, we're on each other's team.